if I had to redo the implements I bought when I bought my tractor, the two biggest wastes of money I ever spent were those two things. back everyone Joe here hope everyone's doing well so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear out this little implement yard that I have got going on over here that's kind of grown up with that Japanese or Chinese stilt grass I'm gonna pull everything out I'm gonna use the rotary cutter that I have already attached to the back of my tractor I'm gonna cut everything down low and then I'm gonna bring everything back over there cut everything down real low that's behind you or where you guys are now I have a pump sprayer a little one gallon or two gallon pump sprayer that I'm gonna fill three quarters of the way up with vinegar and or acetic acid and salt. I'm gonna spray everything down over here, hopefully to try to kill as much as this Japanese steel grass as I can. Uh, vinegar, it's not gonna hurt any animals. It's not gonna hurt anything. We could eat it. I mean, it's just vinegar. It's just an acid, so it'll help kill that down before those little seeds drop and we have more and more of this stuff all over the place. And then I'll restack everything in here, hopefully neatly for the rest of the season. I also have to go ahead and attach the backhoe to the back of the tractor so I'll be taking off the brush cutter because a buddy of mine's got to borrow my tractor for the next few days so that will be leaving and then I'm going to go inside the woods in here and while we still have leaves on these trees I would like to go in there and mark the trees that I want to take down there in the winter time after the hunting season so um, you know I have an idea what the oak trees look like when there's no leaves but it's so much easier to identify the oak trees with leaves on it so I hope you guys enjoy. If you made it this far, if you can, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you back. Please consider subscribing. Let's just mark these trees. I got the goat top. You see them running around when I'm back there. You guys see me do this before. All I'm going to do is hit it with a little X. Just like that. Those are the ones I'm going to take down completely once I get all these logs out of here. But I'm hoping... I could go ahead and really make that wood yard back there. That's another area back there behind the goats that I have to spray with that vinegar. All I'm doing is looking up. So this, these two, this is a poplar and this is, I don't know what that's called, but it's not an oak tree. And this is the, uh, the stuff that gets me the bark that looks like this. So. I'm just gonna mark it on this side so when you're in the house you don't see all these X's. I'm gonna slowly start taking down these trees during the winter time. All this wood here, it's been sitting for a while. That's all gonna get staged and stacked in the back like you guys have seen me done. These I'm gonna take down and when I take them down, I'm gonna go ahead and split them. But I'm kinda hoping that I'll have that back area where the splitter is. I'll have all that vegetation killed with the uh, with that vinegar and salt mixture so that I could really have a nice wood, wood yard where I could access the pallets and kind of have something like this where there's nothing growing, that I'm not being uh, walking through this heavy stuff. There's not many trees in here, but there's enough. I'm watching this little frog keeps jumping further and further away from me. I don't blame him. That's all I'm doing. I'm walking and looking like these trees here. I should probably take out my summit climbing tree stand and practice on one or two of these trees before I go ahead and take it out for the year. That would probably be the smart idea. And the real reason I'm doing all this because all these trees I'm taking down, I want to plant this whole line. This is a south facing hill, this whole line all the way to the end, there's a creek down there. I want to plant all in apple trees. So I'm waiting for Home Depot to throw them on a 50% off sale. And then those $30 trees become $15 trees. So it's really like buy one, get one. Now, how do you go wrong with that? That's a standing dead. This is a beautiful, huge standing oak tree. It's a massive. That's staying.
that's a smaller oak right there. I'll probably just clear off the junk around the bottom of it, get that all out. And then as we go further into here, all, all the little ones are gonna go kind of undiscriminately all through this area. Uh, like this will, anything smaller than this, this tree right here is gonna end up going, all this in here. And that's really all the trees. I think I really marked about five or six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then not counting the little ones. So there's probably, if we're gonna count the little ones to this swell, this, this runoff here, there's probably about 25 or 30 trees in here. But, and then hopefully that will really allow the sun in. And then you see there's mar that there's tape right there. That tape is, uh, that was us, because we used to, all that right there. When this was heavily, really thick, and we didn't have any, my parents didn't have the retaining wall, we would come in here like the first six months. And uh, like I said, we thought we were gonna come in here with the quads and dirt bikes and all this other stuff. So we bought this, this, this tree tape that you could get at uh, like Tractor Supply, Lowe's, Home Depot. And we came in where the tractor is now. And we thought we would go around and come up with like the dirt bike or the quad and to come in through here and just make it through. But we ended up never doing that. <laughs> but that's how we used to get all the way to the top where we didn't have that one road that we made. If I had to redo the implements I bought when I bought my tractor, this post hole digger I would never have purchased. I think that's a waste. I think I've probably put in like nine holes and sat most of its life. And that plug aerator, that pull behind, another total waste. Just in my opinion, uh, you guys let me know, but uh, what you would have done, I thought at the time, because I never owned a tractor, never owned heavy equipment, I thought that was like, you know, the thing to get. The two biggest wastes of money I ever spent were those two things. You don't use them, and uh, they just sit, and I just think it's a waste. So that's my personal opinion. I found this in the woods. I don't really know what it is other than a piece of metal. It's got uh, two sides on it. I'm gonna see if I can kind of jimmy rig something over here and see if it holds it up. Absolutely no need for it.
works on this. Get this out first before I lose the finger. Perfect. See if I could fish that down into there. My wife could probably do that. She's amazing at those claw games. You know that game that you put like, you know, a dollar in and the claw comes out and you win or you're not supposed to win? She wins all the time. She's unbelievable. Alex and I cannot beat her. So much easier with two hands. my track. This was a, another complete waste of money. If you're looking to get a tractor, you're going to buy some implements. This thing, a waste. Not because of the brand. I don't even know what brand or company it's from. It's just a total and complete waste. For like $150, you can go out and rent one, a plug aerator that you could drive on. That's so much faster than using this hunk of metal. Try to clean out most of this stuff. That's where I was burning last year. There's a chunk of concrete right here, a chunk of concrete over there. I'm gonna move that after I get these pieces of wood out of here, just so that I could come in and really brush cut this down. I should probably take that chain off of there, but probably in doing it are two different things.
That just fell in, slowly release off, raise the RPMs, show you guys something so off camera 
I'll leave usually the tractor like this running at a higher idle and uh, just to shake the ground off. The reason I do that is, check out this little guy. He's trying to escape and I don't blame him. So, I don't know how well that picked it up, but it's a little turtle. I'm gonna help him move out of the way so it doesn't take him his whole life to climb over that tree, but I gotta get up there first. See if that's all the way on. Should probably move that back one forward. That's what I'll end up doing now. Let me make a little mark on the ground. In between there, I'll move that piece of concrete just so that it's not on the ground totally. me should stay here too i watch a, a lot of outdoor with the morgans mike morgan and i can't get enough of how he always runs his his machines he also keeps them a lot cleaner than what i do i really gotta step up my cleaning and maintenance game on what i own here but man i if you guys i'm sure you most of you almost all of you have watched his channel but just the simple ease and the way he does things is it just blows my mind at how good he is with running his implements and his equipment. It's just, it's very, it's inspiring. Okay. I was able to get that brush cutter off, the rotary cutter off the back of here. And I don't really drive my tractor with nothing on the back, so it feels so much smaller than what it is. And uh, I'm really kind of enjoying that. I got to do it more often. So here is the 
area right now. I went ahead and brush cut it a few more times after, and then I drove back and forth with just the tires and the weight of the tractor pushing down. Hopefully kind of crimp everything down, and then I'll come back later. I'm not going to bore you guys with spraying vinegar. I mean, it's just imagine putting vinegar in a bottle with salt and spraying it, and then a few days later, this is all going to be dead. I tidied up this concrete, these concrete blocks here. I'm going to end up moving that hunting blind in the back, and I'm, I'll take four of these concrete blocks, and I'll put four of them where the feet of that blind is going to go. I'll come in here, I'll spray all this down in this area here. I kind of did the same thing with running it all over. I got to get back in here with the weed whacker, but I think I'm just going to spray this and then weed whack it down. But as you guys see, I got some concrete slabs in here too. I'll get them all moved. No one uses this bridge ever, but instead of you coming off the bridge onto like nothing, I put these slabs here thinking it would look nice. It did, but then, you know, North Carolina, everything grew in. So here is... The attachment with that three-point quick attach on it, it's on the concrete slab, so it'll probably be good. I might not even use this for the rest of the winter time. What I will do is I'm going to come out here with some anti-seize and spray some of these nuts and bolts just so that they're good for the winter time. I'll put these in that little toolbox. These, if you're new to tractors or getting a tractor, buy five million of them because you're going to lose them. Here's the bucket, the loader bucket. I have it on another concrete slab, and I have a... A smaller rock on the bottom trying to angle it this way and forward pitching it to the right and down so that any kind of water or moisture doesn't really sit in this bucket during the winter time here's the rest of the implements what i should do is probably get a piece of concrete and put it under here i might do that in the next few days for right now i'm not going to because i'm going to get this set up and then go try to dig out one or two stumps in the back i'm going to take the tractor right now and go look if i have any stumps just because like i said it's uh it's pretty funny driving this thing when it has nothing on the crisis that's why i said buy 500 of these i think it's pretty funny driving it's like driving a little stubby it's a, it's so small right now without anything off the back but um yeah i hope you guys are enjoying this this wood pile i'm gonna just with my dad on a really nice cold day during the winter time i'm gonna take this whole pile and it's gonna get burnt over there um this wood it was good wood I never got rid of it. I never had access to get back here and get rid of it. So I might just cut my losses, burn it all. A lot of it is now getting some fungus and mold on it. And uh, my mom wants this whole area to be her garden come the spring. So I want to get this really prepped and ready to go. And then, like I said, back there is where I'm going to do the new wood yard. And what I might do is whatever concrete slabs I have left over, I'll put them on the bottom of whatever trees I end up cutting to take the trees off the ground so that when I'm ready to go ahead and split them, I have an area where I have some drier wood ready to get split.
that's gonna be it for today guys that's the tractor right there I'm gonna try to get out of my Dominion this is the turnip plot that I planted about three and a half four weeks ago as you see quick sneak peek some of the I destroyed a few of them but that's all right this planted a quarter acre of turnips in here I'm gonna most likely fertilize the day before the next rain which is probably gonna be sometime next week I don't have a thumb on my tractor on my backhoe section of my tractor but if you curl it up slowly and evenly you'll be able to grab it that way i'm gonna go dump that somewhere over on this side i'm gonna get this brought up top grease it up wash it up and uh get it up on my trailer it's going tomorrow i hope you guys enjoyed like always if you don't mind if you can't hit that like button if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing my name is joe We're down in my parents six acre property in north carolina i'll see you guys on the next one thank you bye